So yeah, for another Sunday morning trail run. Uh, up in Forest of Bowland and we're going to be running uh, the updated route manner from the Howler Virtual Challenge. So where the original route was 10 kilometers, this one is now 10 miles uh, right up and around the Forest of Bowland. So. Yeah, plus the, the initial to get the start point is about two miles in and then two miles back at the end. So looking forward to that. Got Lottie along with us as, as well today. And then back with Sean. So it should be a good day. Sun shining, not too hot. Let's get going. Finally just reached the start line. Been running already for about 15 minutes, something like that. So finally on route now. I know from looking at the elevation plot yesterday that we've got quite a big climb in the initial stages, so should be interesting, but at least we're warmer, we've got the heart rate, heart rate up before we've even uh, got into the climb, so let's get it. right into our, our faces and the elevation's only getting steeper just got to keep going I'm Rocky <laughs> catch the chicken yeah The amount of grouses we saw around here. Crazy, I don't think I'd ever saw one that close before. And as we're running, they're literally just all flying out in front of us. Madness. Boggy section there. Be pissed right through now, but just sapping the energy out of my legs, to be honest. But keep moving forward. So today again, I'm running in my uh, 
Solomon Spear Cross Vibes. This is just going to be my go to choice to try running shoe now. Um, the thing that I found today, especially in the more like boggy, wet conditions, is that we're on the Night Gore-Tex Trail. Even though they kept like two water resistance on the outside, when they held water, you'd hold it in. The second your foot was submerged, you'd end up squelching for the rest of the run. Unless you took your shoe off to empty it out. Whereas with the speed cross fire, the second they've gone submerged in a puddle, about 100 yards later, completely, completely free out of my shoe. Feet are still wet, but the fact that there's no squelching and that my feet aren't moving around inside the shoe as well makes a massive difference. Boggy shit, but it takes it out of your legs. Horrible. Up this hill, 
hopefully the last little bit of elevation on the roof. But I think over the hills it's definitely the bogs that uh, that take her out there squelching through the mud. Not uh just sucks the energy out of your legs. Remember? If it's a hot day, stay hydrated. Make sure you to drink some water. Running. Fucking losing your foot in a pile of shit. Some part of this where it is just really impossible to run. It's not foggy it is, it's like your foot's just going under like every time you step. Get little crossings like this. You don't know where to step. Could be stepping to where it's just submerging your foot, or you could be going waist deep. Just like, just like that. So that's the fun of it. But I feel once you've uh, your foot's gone under once, or you've gone like knee deep into it, just get used to it. And you just get on with it, really. You know, you fucking only get wet once and then it is just about sucking it up and getting on with it with a soggy sock. got one and a half kilometers left of the route and then about two and a half after that to get back to the car from there and to be honest the forest of Poland has filled us both in. Sean's knee is fucked and he's walking like a zombie. <laughs> cannot, <laughs> cannot run at all. And then as soon as we've hit the road, my knees have just fucking asked what have I done to them from heavy squats yesterday, I think, the load that I've put through them today. It's been a bit too much, so I'm feeling it now. Um, but yeah, not far left to go, so we're on straight road. Just going to tap it out to the finish now. And luckily, I've got, got lots of pulling me, so it gives me a little bit of a helping hand when she does decide to pull me and not just venture off. Hmm. <laughs> Oi! <It's okay. laughs> Play me late. Go on. So I just finished that route, having a nice little dip to cool myself down. Um, yeah, bit of a slog towards the end, but good enjoyable route. Nice, nice 10 miles, some nice views along the way. Uh, again, that's part of the Howler Virtual Challenge, so link in the description if you want to join and um, yeah thanks for the support please like and subscribe and uh, share with your friends and family thanks again for watching peace